What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Chemical Guys Detail Garage. As you saw by the title, today we're going to be covering the topic of how to remove smoke, ash, and cigarette odor from the interior of your vehicle. This 2010 Mazda Speed 3 rolled into the shop and the owner obviously smokes. And this is something that comes up whether you're looking to purchase a vehicle or you recently purchased a vehicle, or maybe you're selling a vehicle that has smoke odor. This is something that deters from the actual value of the vehicle because it may look great, but as soon as you open the door, you can smell that heavy, thick smell of cigarettes or cigars. And today we want to show you how to remove that so there's no trace, there's no left behind residues, just a factory finish. So to begin, we need to obviously knock down any of the ash that's in the vehicle. Then I'm going to show you how to properly remove that odor so that there's no scent left behind. And also one last trick on how to maintain that smell of a fresh vehicle or your favorite scent. So let's get started. So, like I mentioned, the owner is a smoker, so we're going to show you guys how to remove that odor scent. Uh, starting off here, we're going to work away from the windshield back because this is going to save us a lot of time where we're not going to have to clean up areas we've already, you know, made a mess of. So the windshield, it might be hard to tell on camera, but as any of you who've been in a smoker's car or have a smoker's car, you know that the cigarette ash and the cigarette residue leaves this kind of haze on glass and mirrors and things like that. So we're going to use a little bit of street free glass cleaner just to remove it from the mirror here. You can use it on the glass. You can also use it on the gauge cluster. Safely remove anything without scratching the surface. And I'll just do half so you guys can see at home just what I'm talking about. We'll buff off the excess. And already we're making a difference on the interior of this vehicle. So since we're already on this side of the vehicle, I'll finish up that side of the glass in just a minute, but now we're gonna move on to the dash and the steering wheel as well as the console. Using some InterClean, which you can use to clean and protect any of your vinyl, rubber, plastic, clear optical plastic, and even leather. And this is just gonna simply spray onto a towel or to the surface, and you wipe away dust, fingerprints, in the case of the vehicle, ash, and this is also going to help remove any kind of odors because like you see on the glass here, the smoke clings to anything and that is what's giving off the odor essentially. It also cleans the fibers in the headliner and the seats, but it's also clinging to vinyl, plastic, anything that's porous because that's going to absorb any kind of material. So this is going to help remove some of that odor because you're going to slowly chip away at all of that sense that's in the vehicle. Now this isn't going to mask anything, but this is just going to help to remove any of the particles that are in here giving off that scent. But again, it's going to give you that factory finish so that it can last as long as it can. Also giving you just a, a better overall look. As we all know, we spend most of our time in the interior, so it might as well look its best and smell its best. You got hand grease, you got suntan lotion, cigarette hands, just nasty little elf hands, all that kind of stuff on the steering wheel. I'm gonna show you all those body oils just coming off on the towel. Know what I mean? Now the towel and inner clean alone are taking off a lot of the dust and also the ash, but there's also some hard to reach areas, which is why I'm gonna use one of the all in the details brushes just a very soft bristle that gets in between the crevices, such as the switches here, and also any kind of tight cracks where it'd be hard to get a towel in there and you also don't want to saturate that heavily because then you can't dry it. So a brush is going to help you knock that out and then you can vacuum it up later or simply wipe it off.
commonly overlooked area is the door jams here. Even a smoker's car, the ash gets everywhere because it really is just a mess. And you can see here on the seal, as well as in between the door jams here, we have the ash that's just been sitting in there. So again, using some interclean, we're just gonna spray the towel. You can also use an all-purpose cleaner or maybe even your favorite quick detail spray. This is just gonna gently wipe it away. And the reason why I've gone with interclean is because this is also going to protect the surface without changing the finish. So you can use this again on your vinyl, rubber, plastics to help them resist any kind of harsh elements and UV rays. And this is a lot better than just having them dry so they don't start cracking or fading over time. And it also just simply picks up any kind of dust and grease and fingerprints that are lying around the interior as well as some exterior parts of your vehicle. We're gonna move on to cleaning the seats because again, this uh, vehicle, it's a smoker's car. So this is where a lot of the kind of ash and odor smell. It sits in the fibers and this is where it gives you that really kind of dense, heavy odor. And uh, also the carpet, we need to vacuum it because I don't know if you can tell on camera or not, but there's just a ton of ash in here. So we're gonna work our way, trying to be methodical by going from top to bottom so we're not making a mess or having to redo a lot of work. But now again, we're gonna use either an all-purpose cleaner to clean up some of the stains that are on the seat, but again, using just a little bit of interclean to clean up the vinyl and leather on these seats to make them look their best. Alrighty guys, so we're moving right along with the detail on this Mazda Speed 3. You saw that the inner cleaner moved a lot of that loose dirt and debris that was on the dashboard as well as the center console and the seats. But now we need to pick up the areas that we've obviously missed or the things that are heavier and also the carpet using a vacuum. And also this is going to help to remove the embedded odors and things that are sitting in the fibers of the seats. And it's going to make this vehicle look its best. Now a lot of you guys are probably wondering, Nick, why aren't you using an ozone generator? And that's because one, I wanted to show you guys an easy way to do this at home if you don't have this machine. If you do, that's great, but also there are some cons to having an ozone machine, such as it's going to be harmful if you should say leave some residue in there because if you think about it, ozone is actually also a carcinogen. So we want to do this as gently as possible and also the most cost efficient way. So this is going to remove as much of the uh, kind of impurities that are inside the vehicle as possible and we're going to make it look its best on the budget that we're working with today. So we're going to start by vacuuming off the seats because again we're working from top to bottom just like we do on the exterior of the vehicle to drop as much of it onto the carpet which is going to be again the easiest place to clean it all up and then we're going to show you one last step to revive the interior of this vehicle. Now if you wanted to you could take it a step further and actually deep clean your seats using say a carpet shampoo or something like that and also with your headliner and seat belts you can use a damp cloth and just kind of help wipe away any of the residue because on a car like this that has a light headliner, you'll see kind of a brown residue. And again, that's just because of the smoke odor and also, you know, all those kind of things bonding to the fibers. But using a damp microfiber towel, it's going to help wipe it away without harming the adhesive that's on the headliner. Because if you didn't know, if you start scrubbing on there or use some kind of aggressive cleaner, that's going to make it sag or it could ruin the texture overall. And again, with your seat belts, there's a kind of repellent on there, a fire repellent, if you will, that's kind of sensitive to any kind of heavy duty cleaner. So using a, again, damp microfiber cloth, that's going to help it clean it easily and gently. So let's begin with the vacuuming process, and then we can do our final step, and I'll give you guys that overall finished product. Alrighty guys, we've made it to the last step of our detail for today. I'm going to show you one easy process to rejuvenate your AC system, also to help kind of clean out your cabin filter, just by simply spraying a little bit of your favorite air freshener into the footwell 
where it's going to recirculate into your AC system and blow out fresh, cool air. And that's going to also be eliminating odors depending on which air freshener you choose. The owner personally requested JDM squash scent because this is a JDM car. He kind of likes that scent. I don't want to go with that theme. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the car on, turn the AC system to max cold and also to recirculate. And just a few sprays into the footwell that's going to help it circulate through the AC system. And then you can also spray some underneath the seats, a little bit in the back seat, but you want to make sure it's going right into the fibers of the carpet rather than your floor mats or into the seat where it can stain. So the owner's on his way. I'm going to wrap up this. And in the meantime, you guys can head over to our website, chemicalguys.com, to check this product for yourself. If you like this video or if you want to learn more about these products, be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below. And as always, we'll see you guys next time right here in the Detail Garage. Oh, this car is equipped with a modern day anti-theft system, so you make sure it's in neutral. Alrighty, RJ, come on out. You're all clear, come on out. Oh, thanks a bunch, Nick. It smells great, next time we'll get the outside. Yeah, dude, it looks awesome. Thank you so much. Hey, come by. we Will do. Take it easy.